What up guys, Dan here from D&D and we said we'd shoot a really quick video with you guys today on the spar kind of as we were installing the two of these washers that we just finished installing two of these i said it'd be a good opportunity to do a quick video showing exactly what it takes to do a setup like this or what's capable of a simple setup like the km300 right i'm gonna run through really quickly so we would installed a thousand liter ibc that is the water supply for it, a load of machines. It's a good platform to use because obviously you can take weight. So it's a good platform, good base, good height to mount the two washers, right? After that then, we've mounted the two KM300s up on top of rubber mats. Oh, the only reason we did that was we want to try and keep the noise transfer between the machines and say the hard surfaces like the wood and the IBC and stuff. We want to try and keep the noise transfer as low as possible so there's no rattles, no vibrations. Don't want anyone getting annoyed or anything like that. So that's all that's for, right? So mounting them up on top of rubber mats. Then you got the KM300 hundreds because it's the brand new build guys right and this container is only here two weeks fresh build we and the electrician actually did wire from scratch it meant we could basically pick and choose between using 13 amp plugs which is your household three pin plug or whether we could go straight to 16 amp plug i strongly recommend everyone to go to 16 amp plug and um, first of all they're waterproof which is fantastic in this environment between moisture and rain and all the rest of it it's it's a good way to go that unit is i'm going to show you right now this unit is actually sealed so you, it's not like your household plug so it has your, your waterproof o-ring. Once you have it plugged in, you actually end up locking the plug in, which creates a, a watertight seal. And that way then, if there's any splashes or any moisture gathering in here, anything like that, you're not gonna have an issue with shortening it here. So that's the big bonus to that. I'd always recommend going a 16 amp plug when it comes to any environment like this. Um, so yeah, that's the electrics. Straight wired, happy days, no issues, no nothing. Next thing we did basically, cause these machines will suck from a barrel and that's what the customer wanted to go because we knew, I tested this site before they opened and before they started putting equipment stuff like that, test the site, it wasn't, they wanted to go two washers and it wasn't gonna meet the, the 10 liters a minute, 11 liters a minute I should say, per machine, right? Just wasn't gonna meet it. So it had to be backed with a, basically with a water supply, right? So the IBC was the handiest things. These machines will suck from a barrel. That's the benefit, once the air, once the air is out of any of the system these will suck for barrel which is a big benefit so all we've done is base the IBC and mount the two holes straight into the IBC with a way to filter on to make sure it's not gathering any grit and just a normal just a normal hose lock quick fitting very straightforward nothing too fancy and hose straight down into the IBC as you can see next that thing guys and um, next that thing guys you will see we've mounted up the 15 meter hose on both machines, if you come around this way. Um, so that's the, for the hose mounted on both, both machines. We're not fully finished yet, but I just wanna get a video today as we were kind of finishing up the, the install a small bit, just get it ready for the week ahead. Eventually we do plan on running these hoses straight up through the side of the container, mounting them on the wall and having quick releases halfway down the wall, depending on, you know, depending on where the wash bays are going and stuff for like that. So that's the plan. So right now it's been ran out of the container and um, long term we're gonna come through the side of the container. We're gonna mount them hard wire as I was saying and put quick releases in both wash bays then to quick release in and out the 15 meter hose. Right, so guys, there you have it. That is what it looks like to have to basically set up a, a medium to large size car wash, right? We've got two power washers ready to go with a thousand liters vacuum, both moving 11 liters a minute each and both moving 150 bar each. I'm gonna show you now on the other side of the hose in a second what, what we've done, which is we've gone with a quick release system so they can start using the likes of these, the, the Nilfus snow foam lens. So they can quick release between the Nilfus snow foam lens and between the rinse lens. Normally in the old days, when we were gonna run a system like this, it would mean we'd be running four hoses, two off each washer, which it, which would be one for foaming and one for rinsing, and then the same in the second washer, which can cause a bit of an issue because you can't have them both operating at once because the pressure drops and all the rest of it. With this way, you have no worries that you have no fear of pressure dropping or any, or any pulsing the machine or anything like that because you're only using one hose, which is less, less issues when it comes to bursting or anything like that because you've less of a hose to worry about uh, one hose one trigger one rinse lens one snow from lens and you just multiply that them by two and i'll show you really quickly we're going to give this lovely tree series a quick going over a quick wash and stuff like that foam it up rinse it and showing exactly what this system is capable of doing and how efficient this, this system is for your commercial washing so at the other end of the hose you have this which is your qr um, your quick release trigger which is what we call the qr gun and your 1.5 meter rinse lens with a bend right so the the big thing about this is, um, and why we like putting these in so much, is because it's quick release. Um, so if you're in the middle of wash and you want to quickly transition over from your rinse lens to your foam lens, it is literally as simple as. 
it's, a sim it's as simple as that guys um, there you have it you'll also hear in the background of the of this video you'll hear the great thing about the KM300 they actually have a 25 second delay so if it's by pure chance you're washing the car and you want to rinse off what you just put on instead of the machine turning on and off loads of times in the car wash process it stays running That way then it stays running, which means the machine isn't getting any extra wear, isn't starting up more times than it needs to. So you can swap very quickly between snow foaming and rinsing and the machine stays running, which means it's better for it, longevity and stuff like that. Or even like this, you're rinsing a wheel. You have to stop. You're actually not stopping the motor, just move on to the next wheel, you can go again. And that is the big thing for me with a lot of the Minzoni stuff. I like the way they've engineered, they've improved their equipment. We saw a lot of machines over the years where they would have pressure switches and like that, they're off, which means the guy's washing the car, it means your power washer's turning on and off, on and off, on and off all day long. As you can imagine, guys, that's not good in a commercial setup when you want to get years out of your gear and you want just you want it to work, basically. When you know you want to just do a hard week's of work and off you go, you want to make sure the machines are doing efficiently and are doing what they're supposed to do. Anyway, guys, we're going to give this, this car a quick wash and we're going to show you the difference between the snow foam and the rinse lens and all the rest of it and how quickly this chop changed between them. That's what it takes to set up uh, twin washers, 2K M300s, set up running dual hoses with the QR triggers, quick release rinse lenses, and quick release snowfall lenses. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next video.